These are architectural ghosts that haunt the landscape that we inhabit on a daily basis. But it's important to, to remember these places. Wendell White has explored African-American history and culture through his photography for more than 30 years. His series, Schools for the Colored, focuses on a time when our educational institutions were separate and far from equal. An exhibit at the Harrison Township Historical Society in Mullica Hill, New Jersey, highlights the ghostly buildings Wendell visited throughout southern New Jersey and Philadelphia. It seemed to me important in particular to look at segregation and segregated schools in the north because there's a, the stereotype is southern communities. Richard Taylor attended a segregated school in Woodbury, New Jersey in the late 1940s. We had all black teachers and all of them which were very positive, also very strict. Uh, they had the reinforcement of our parents so that if we got into any trouble, uh, we were in trouble. I've talked to residents in Cape May okay. about them actually walking to school with their white friends and when they got to the corner, they went to their black school and their white friends went across the street to the white school. Although we went to separate schools, right. you know, as kids, right. we played together. Right. Okay, so there was no, the kids never had any problem. Problems, it right. was the adults that had the problem. Right. Things like and that, I you think know. That's... Because there are a number of cases where these schools are well known, but they don't, the building is no longer extant anymore. And so one of the things that I came up with was the idea that I could create a silhouette and put the silhouette in as a placeholder. In some cases, the silhouette is purely my invention, what I think might have been there. In some cases, the silhouette is based on photographs or descriptions, at least, of the, uh, what the buildings look like. And I'm, I was um, particularly struck by the W.E.B. Du Bois idea of the veil as a way of understanding race as a separation between the black world and the white world. Then it dawned on me with a certain suddenness that I was different from the others, but shut out from their world by a vast veil. I decided to start creating a way to separate the building from the, from the background. And I make some decisions, not every part of the building sometimes, not every part of the background. There are a lot of formal considerations in terms of how I isolate the building, but basically I isolate the structure so that it becomes an artifact in the landscape and the rest of the landscape has a veil over it that allows it to represent the notion of looking through from one world, the world the black world of the schools and the white world that surrounds them. I hope that it is an opportunity to excavate and to begin to think about the complexity of racial segregation.